right? Let's move on to this example. So, uh, the same thing happened also, I repeat again. You have a complex number, you want to transform to polar form. First, you must understand the argon diagram. Where's the location of the argon diagram? So, the real of Z and the imaginary of Z. Alright, you have to do this first, alright? Uh, so, negative 2, so you have a negative 2 and x, your x, this is your y, right? Your y, this is your x, so it's negative 2 and negative 2. Oh, negative 2 and negative 2. So, it's in the third quadrant, right? In the third quadrant. So, never mind, just draw out first. First, you find the modulus. The modulus of z is the same as the square root of negative uh, 2 square x square plus y square, right? x square plus negative, you just square it, become positive. So, uh, negative 2 square. Then you have square root of negative 2 square, you have 4. Negative 2 square, you have 4. So, which gives you square root of 8, which is 4 times 2, right? Uh, don't convert it, become decimal, right? This is not a good way. So, what you do is, you simplify the square root. Maybe you will get a third a number in third. Square root of 4, you have 2 square root of 2. Right? Two square root. So this will be your modulus for this problem. So uh, how about argument? Okay, please listen. Argument for this case, can you go clockwise? Can you go counterclockwise? Bolehkah anda ikut arah lawan jam? Sebab kalau anda ikut arah lawan jam, dia akan melebihi berapa? Ha, you kena tahu. You must know that it's 180 degree. And 180 degree, right? Radian form, degree form. So, you look at this. Negative 180, 180. If you go beyond this clockwise, you will get more than 180, which is not. You're not going to move clockwise, but you move and uh, uh, sorry, not going to move anti-clockwise but moving clockwise means that this is your argument, right? But always remind yourself that this argument is for is a negative angle. Why negative angle? Because it's clockwise. But never mind, we don't think about that first. So anything happen, we find alpha first. Okay, now uh, I remind again. First quadrant, you know need alpha for the for the second, third, and fourth, you find alpha. So alpha, the formula always the same. Uh, the formula for alpha always the same. Always put the modulus and then take the y divided by x. Uh, so what is your y? Your y in this case, uh, this will be your y, right? Negative 2. Your x, negative 2. Uh, you actually get positive, but never mind, you just still put uh, uh, modulus. So you have arctangent 1, right? So arctangent 1 is 45, 45 degree, but in radian is pi over 4, right? Pi over 4. So, but this is not the argument. It's not argument. But I know that now, uh, this will be pi over 4, right? This will be the angle pi over 4. But what you want is the theta, which the total of theta and this pi over 4 will make, become pi, 180, right? 180. So, to find the argument theta, uh, the argument of z, the argument of z, theta, you have to uh, take the pi, pi, minus the pi over 4, right? Pi over 4, which gives you 3 pi, 4 pi, uh, 3 pi over 4. But, I'm still making a mistake. Alright? I'm still making a mistake. What is my mistake? Because this is in the this is in the uh, first. Alright? In the uh, it, sorry. It's in the third quadrant, right? In the third quadrant. Okay, and this will be a negative angle. You have to remember if you're going this way, uh, this is called uh, clockwise. So for tri from trigonometry, you know that you will get a negative angle. So you just need to add a negative here. Uh, just add a negative. Sorry. You just need to add a negative. Right? Negative. Sorry, this will be 
uh, 3 pi or uh, your answer for us. This one is pi over 4. Sorry. Yeah. So this one will be 3 pi over 4. Negative 3 pi over 4. Sorry. Negative 3 pi over 4. So the argument for this case is negative 3 pi over 4. Why is it negative? I repeat again. Because it's going the clockwise. You can't move in the anti-clockwise direction because it's only up to pi. So you have to move in the negative angle, right? So which make up negative 3 pi over 4. So you have already transformed. Transform the into polar form, which gives you 2 square root of 2 cos theta plus i sine theta. So this will be negative 3 pi over 4 cos sine negative 3 pi over 4. But how are you sure that your answer is correct or not? Okay, actually, you can use in calculator. Right, you can use this model, this calculator, All right? This calculator model. So I teach you first. You have to choose the complex mode. You have to uh, choose the complex mode. So you just pressing the two. All right, pressing the. Uh, sorry. So you're just pressing the uh, mode and you're pressing the two and choose the complex mode. So then now you try to uh, key in this complex number negative two minus two i, right? Minus, sorry, minus two i, two i. So, uh, I, right, negative 2 minus 2i. So now, how to find the argument and modulus? Very simple. So you go to the option here, the option here, you're pressing the key option, then you can find the argument, right? Can you see? You can find the argument, or you can go uh, pressing this button, then you have, choose the one, right? choose the one here. The, the, the R is the modulus and the argument. So you choose one, you press key in one, uh, then you will see that uh, later. Uh, so you press equal first. So you press equal first. Then you option. You find for number one. Okay, number one. So then you press equal. Then you will have. Uh, can you see that? You have two square root of two. Two square root of two as your uh, modulus. Uh, as your modulus. So, and you can find out that the, this negative 3 pi over 4 will be your argument. Uh, it's exactly the same, negative 3 pi over 4, uh, ne negative 3 pi over 4. Uh, this is the way. So I repeat again, all right, if you can't can see, you key in the 2, uh, negative 2, negative 2 minus 2, i, can you see the eng here, negative 2, negative 2, i, then after that, you, Pressing the button equal, all right? Equal, then you pressing the button option, option, and you pressing this arrow going down, and you choose for one, choose for one, and you pressing equal. Uh, then you have your uh, modulus and your argument, right? All right. I think that's all for this uh, example.